Hey guys, it's Special Aussie here, and welcome to episode 20 of my New York City Wrestling Series for TEW 2016. So this is Gang Wars 2, and uh, we've got a very special debut on the show. He's actually in our first match. So let's get into the opening highlights segment. Okay, there we go, our 100 A star that we get every at the start of every event we hold. Um, once again, selling out Pennsylvania Park, as we usually do. We're actually expected to get 2,800 people, or 2,800, um, to each show. Um, but I was kind of looking at the uh, the costs of each stadium, and obviously the next biggest size is 5,000, um, and that costs 20,000, whereas the Pennsylvania Park holds 2,000, but costs 8,000. So, yeah, I don't think spending another 12000 just to get another 800 people in um, is a very good business decision yet. I mean, once it gets over 3000 then I might start to think about it a little bit more. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep uh, keep selling out Pennsylvania Park. Okay, so yeah, 100 A-star. Once again, improving or advancing three storylines. Oh yes, we have a couple of gimmicks. What am I doing? Okay, handle changes. So we've got Marv. I remembered to do these from last time. So Marv's now switched to an... Is that Arch Competitor? Yeah, I'd say it's Arch Competitor gimmick. The gimmick has gotten an initial rating of average. Okay. Okay, and the other guy's not in there yet, but he does have a match. Uh, so there we go. Brett Heartbreak. For those of you that don't know, he's the son of Byron Heart Heartbreak who I think is wrestling in England um, at the moment. He is English, um, as well as his father, I believe. Um, so yeah, looks very, very similar to his father as well. If you look up Byron, I think it's all in, it's in capital letters, B-Y-R-O-N. But yeah, he comes into the game at about this time. It's his first year, his rookie year. Um, I had him on my CZCW save um, in 2013. So yeah. Uh, he turned into my one of my, well, pretty much my best ever champion, along with Akuma. Uh, but that's a, another story for another day. So yeah, he's debuted here as Cocky Youth Gimmick. Initial rating of below average. Okay, not great. In a decent match, Ross Henry defeated Brett Heartbreak in 11.43 by pinfall with an earthquake power slam. Uh, but yeah, a 66 C+. Hopefully, yes, worker improvements. Awesome, awesome. Brett Heartbreak's improving in his performance skills. Um, he's actually got 66 psychology and only 62 basics. It's kind of a bit weird to see someone with lower basics than psychology, but I guess um, seeing as he's a second generation star or second generation wrestler, uh, you would kind of maybe you would expect that more um, than having the psychology over basics. Um, he's only 18 years old as well. Um, awesome. Starts off with no popularity in any region though. Um, but yeah, we might put him in a program with Ross Henry, because um, he's fairly new to the business as well. We might have a, you know, former footballer with millions of dollars, just wants to become a wrestler, um, because he's got nothing else to do, nothing else to really achieve, and then you got the uh, second generation wrestler there. Uh, but yeah, Ross Henry then cuts a promo, um, not hyping his upcoming match, but just cuts a promo um, saying that he respected his father and he was a fan of his father um, when he was a younger man, when he was a teenager. And that gets a 100A star, so that's going to do wonders for his popularity, hopefully. Oh my goodness. Okay, 77B. This is the tag match that I mentioned that I kind of set up last week. And about that had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd, El Medico Jr. and Marsh Stranger defeated Savage Tiger Jr. and El Serpiente in 20 minutes and 8 seconds when El Mitico Jr. defeated El Serpiente by pinfall with a Northern Light suplex. And as you would expect, in terms of in-ring work, if I can get my words out, El Mitico Jr. was uh, head and shoulders above everybody else, and El Serpiente was the weak link. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, El Serpiente is improving in rumble skills. 77B. Awesome. Uh, we then have a backstage promo between Savage Tiger and El Serpiente, which gets a 66C+. So basically what's happening here is Savage Tiger is just going, well, he's going savage 
on El Serpiente, just basically, you know, ripping him a new asshole, saying, why were you, you cost me the match, why were you so shit out there tonight? And, uh, yeah, El Serpiente doesn't look too pleased about that, and, uh, we can just imagine him, like, hissing at, uh, Savage Tiger. Well, that's what I would imagine. But yeah, Savage Tiger Jr. is improving in acting, so it's only going to help his, uh, his uh, angle ratings a little bit more as well. Okay, so this is the uh, cooldown match, another 65C cooldown match, which is awesome to actually see. And about that had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Animal Harker defeated Logan Wolf Spain in 1027 by Pimfall with a stump pile driver. Um, and yeah, pretty good match. Logan actually outshone Animal Harker, which is interesting. Um, I thought that might be the other way around. All good. Good rating. Good cooldown match. Oh, I skipped an angle. All good. A little bit of lag there. Hopefully you guys kind of saw it. Um, it was just a, a Man Mountain K Hill promo. Um, I'm assuming it got a 100A star. Um, it was a promo on Ernest Youngman uh, for his remarks that he made at the last event, saying that it doesn't matter um, who anyone is. It doesn't matter if, you, if you're a good guy or a bad guy. Um, I will beat you um, and prove to everyone that I am the best Empire Champion NYCW has ever seen. And then, yeah, Man Mountain K Hill in that promo basically said, well, I'm the, the biggest, baddest, badass that's ever stepped foot in this company, and, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna beat your ass, you cocky youngster. And yeah, that led into this match. Uh, Man Ma in a decent, well, we may as well just go through it. In a decent match, Man Mountain Cahill defeated Freedom Eagle in 629 by Pimfall with a mountain topper. Only got a 48D+, plus, but that's okay. Uh, Cahill's off his game as well, which is not great. <clears throat> okay, this is a little... This is better than I thought it would be. In a decent match, Steve Flash defeated Seth Whitehead for, like, the fifth time um, in 739 by Pinfall with a flash bang. Um, Seth, once again, had a better in-ring performance than Steve Flash did. But that's a good rating. I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. We have to give uh, Steve his new gimmick. Fan favorite. Ooh, okay. That is a little bit weird. Steve Flash has now switched to a fan favorite gimmick. The gimmick has gotten an initial rating of awful. Why? Why would that be awful? Anyway, uh, we then have a three-man generic tag team promo uh, backstage between Ernest Youngman, Marvel Malloy, and Storm Spillane. And uh, yeah, ATB, it's a pretty good rating. And uh, these three guys are just kind of talking strategy uh, before the big main event which is our um, Gang Wars main event. Of course, the uh, typical three-on-three -three tag team match. And it gets an 83B+. Plus. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's so cool. That's our new highest rating once again. 83B+. Plus. In a superb match, Ernest Youngman and the American Curry Brothers defeated Chevy Ferreira and the Ring Generals in 2945 when Ernest Youngman defeated Chevy Ferreira by pinfall with the hit. In terms of in ring work, Ernest Youngman was head and shoulders above everyone else. Chevy Ferreira was the weak link, as you would expect. And then you got Marv getting better at his gimmick, which is good. Um, improves the old school versus new school storyline as well. Uh, Ernest with a 93 in ring performance. And you got 78 for Storm, 71 for Dean, and 68 for Marv. Good stuff. Marvel Malloy improving in Rumble and technical skills. That is super awesome. I'm chuffed with that result. And the show gets a 74 B minus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we used El Serpiente too much and Bret Heartbreak too much as well. But that's all good because I need to use those guys as much as possible. Okay, so I think we have to go Ernest. We do this pretty much every event. Um, go Storm. Where's Storm at? Um, who else? We may as well just give it to another one of those guys in the match. Maybe we'll go... Who was it? I'm not sure which one it was. I think we'll go Dean... Yeah, Dean. Uh, we'll tell him he's awesome. Give him a hug. And tell him that he's awesome as well. 
Very happy, very happy, and pleased. Wow, I can't believe that. 76 B- minus for that show. I mean, there's no way that we're losing that regional battle. Not a chance in hell. Super happy. That's a really... This is a really good episode. I'm quite... Quite pleased. As you guys can probably tell. Okay. Let's have a little look at the... Oh yeah! 36 D minus! We're finally out of the red. Finally off the E plus. Uh, but we're still E plus. 34 for importance. But that's okay. Um, as long as the popularity's continuing to go up, um, it's only going to help us bring more fans in and stuff like that. And hopefully, get more... Uh, sponsorship money. As you can see, it's, it's pretty much been the same for the last three months, which is a little bit worrying. So yeah, let's have a look at Brett Heartbreak and his stats. I mean, I've kind of gone on a little bit about him. Uh, there you can see the son of Byron, um, 18 years old. English is based in France for whatever reason. Um, we're his only employer, so hopefully he'll relocate to America. That'd be nice. Okay, he's already got 10 popularity, which is crazy. 10 pop in one show. Um, and his stats... Yeah, so 64 psychology. I, I was a little bit wrong there. 62 basics. He's got 69 brawling, which is high. I think that, that might have actually gone up. I feel like that's gone up. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, that's... Eh, no? I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. But, yeah, he's awesome. Um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, have a look at his skills once more. I mean, he's got 83 star uh, star quality, sorry, and 88 B plus stamina as well, and obviously is predominantly going to be a heal his whole career. Um, 100 A star in the cool uh, gimmick rating there as well, which is awesome. So yeah, very happy to have him. I was kind of keeping a close eye um, on when he would actually appear in the game. You know, I just took a little a little gamble. Uh, just before this, ep well, about a week before this uh, episode, or well, the event was due to take place, and uh, yeah, there he was. So I snapped him up straight away. Um, he, when I first brought him in to my CZCW save, um, I put him with Matty Faith. I'm not too sure how many of you guys know him, um, but I believe Matty Faith, if you have a look, is actually with yeah RIPW. So he's got an SWF developmental deal. Um, I th I'm guessing his dad, yeah, Christian Faith is a SWF former world champion. So, yeah, he's pretty good as well. Um, I think he's better than he was at the start of last time, at the start of the last game when he would uh, appear in the game. Um, so, yeah, I did a lot of work on this guy actually to get him to uh, a main event level, but he got there and uh, he was also very good with the, uh, the old ratings and the matches. Um, not on the same level as Brett, though, because Brett was just above and beyond everybody else. So, yeah, the next event is King of New York, which is our tournament. It's going to be a very, very good tournament. I'm going to put all of our top guys in there. And we're just going to we're just gonna try and get the, as many, you know, decent ratings as possible, to be honest. Uh, figurehead. I'm not too sure if I should put anyone as a figurehead. For the simple fact that if I do that, Hmm. Their ace position as a face of the company. Primary focus of marketing and merchandising the company does. Massively boost business and help a company prosper. Uh, okay, okay. It sounds tempting. But once again, a little bit scary because if I do that, I just have a feeling that people will start sniffing around. So he's back up to a 60C, which is good to see. Uh, what about El Serpiente? Has he, has he gone up any? 29. Yeah, it's up two points. Cool. Okay, what about Ross? I haven't really checked Ross in a little while. He's at an 82. It's up one point. Okay. That's cool. Uh, what about uh, Ernest? Always got to check Ernest. Oh my god, 85B+. plus. Okay, he's up 5 points. That's crazy, dude. He's like as over as some of the guys in like the big American uh, federations. 
like they're they're like main eventers, their main eventers. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Okay. Anyway, that's gonna wrap this episode up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please drop a like. That'd be really appreciated by me. And if you're a new viewer or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that as well. Keep you up to date with all these episodes coming out. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.